Have you ever been on Facebook or somebody's website and seen something really interesting, a, a collection of scriptures that you wanted to capture and put into a collection note? I'm going to show you how to do that as fast as possible. And I just grabbed an example off of Facebook and I, I jotted down these scriptures here just so you could see this in a quick, easy list. And so what I want to do is add these scriptures and this external reference to teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith into a single collection note. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So the first one on there, what I want to do is I want to just open up my library pane and I'm going to start to type Luke. As I start to type, I get the chapters for Luke. And now I'm going to just click on chapter 19 and I'm going to go to verse eight when this pops up. And from this verse, I'm going to create a collection note. And so that's going to be the start of my note. And I'm just going to call this laws of financial restoration. There were laws in ancient Israel that talked about, you know, if somebody's stolen something or broken something, it's supposed to be restored. And I just, this is a, an easy example to show. And so that is my first verse. And I'm just going to hit save on that. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to come over here and just erase that and type J O B Job 42 is the next reference. So I'll go to Job 42 and this is actually verses 10 through 13. So I want to do a bulk move for several verses. And so I'll go verse 10, 11, 12 and 13. And as I do that, my drag handle changes from this four-way direction to drag multiple verses. And so I'm going to bring that over and drop here and I'll close that. Now this next one is teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith. I'll save that for the, the end. I could do it right now, but I'll just save it for uh, in just a minute. So the next one is in the Doctrine and Covenants. So I just type a D and it comes up and I'm going to go to chapter section 98 verse 25. So I go down here to verse 25. I'm going to drag that over like so. I'll come over here and I'll hit Proverbs 631 and while that's opening I'll close this one. And so 631 right here. And the last one is in Exodus 22, verses 1 and 4. So again, you know, i got a couple of verses here. I could do a bulk move and select, you know, both verse 1 and 4 or drag them over individually. And so I'll just bulk move them. And that leaves me with the last reference. And this is to uh, something in the teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith. Now... I'm just going to hit expand on this because I'm going to copy it into my master note right here at the top. So I'll hit this link button and the teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith are available at the LDS citation index. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to click on their library button and go to teachings of the prophet Joseph Smith and it's on page 37. And so here it is. It says a prayer for the afflicted saints. And I've, I've already done this. I've read this. Right here is this bit about uh, their reward being returned more than fourfold. So I'm just going to take this prayer and I'm going to copy that into memory and come back over here and paste it. Now, sometimes when you paste something, the format gets a little bit messed up. Um, I've had this happen. See, so like right here, thy name. There's there's like not a proper carriage return there. So what you can do, there's, there's a number of ways you can kind of slice and dice this to fix a quote that doesn't have perfect um, endings. And also if it has footnotes in here. So depending on where you're pacing it, okay, that actually came in pretty good. Um, but now I would need to go through and remove these footnotes. I don't have a slick way to do that except manually. So I, I would have to go through here and just delete each of those footnotes. I, I wish I could double click them, but you can't. So you just have to hit, you know, each one of those and delete it. And then you can copy paste this back in here without the footnotes or, or you can edit them, you know, right here. 
So once you do that, just hit update and then you know give it some tags like um, finance finances that that'll work uh, restoration uh, reward and so on so you could go through and just build your collection note that way um, pretty pretty fast and then you can come down through here and study those uh, verses and make whatever other notes that you would like to up here at the top and that's a, a really quick look at creating a collection note. And if you have any questions or comments, leave it, leave it in the comments below. And I hope that's helpful for you to see how you can kind of use this library pane to quickly go to any book as you start to type. So I just typed M and then A, T, there I am at Matthew. So really quick, easy, easy way to look up verses. There you go.